really excited to be here today at the SD1 Summit Paris 2019 with the Cisco team as well as the Redal Networks team, Michael and Joachim. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit more which conclusions you've made from speaking to all the companies present here today as well as the service providers? One thing I, I um, noticed is that there are so many uh, manufacturers and as well there are many overlay network service providers but there are not so many managed network service providers um, like like us for example right so um, there is uh, there's many overlay network but less underlay network and, and, and less transport network service providers which um, is probably of the interest of certain enterprise customers as far as we believe in it Joachim would you would you agree Yes, principally you have uh, three types of uh, companies here. These are the classical carriers, Zingtel, Korea Telecom, us as an example. Uh, the manufacturers, of course, Huawei, Juniper, Cisco, of course, and of course, uh, over the top, the, the overlay network providers, the system integrators who sell services on top of the sd solutions and um, add value to, or hope to add value to the customer. Thank you. And just to understand, in your opinion, where do you see SD1 going in the next, next upcoming years? Maybe what you see here, and I think uh, the SD1 summit is a start here, is that SD1 is a commodity. It's a clear must for the underlying network to manage the network, to, to manage all the different types of access. And over the top, there will be, there are the, the application, and there's the future probably. So, whether it's one uh, one acceleration, whether it's uh, firewall security in in a total, um, and I think services we do not know yet about uh, whether it's uh, related with SDN, with uh, uh, all the uh, network virtualization functions, which we do not have yet and I think the market is also not yet ready but will come in the future much much more than we see today. Yeah, it's funny though that the industry is already talking about the future right um, but today probably four to ten percent of the overall networking market is software defined then whereby all the other things are more traditional transport networks right um, that might change in the next five years from 1090 to 9010 um, but the future will tell us we're not a wisdom teller sorry. <laughs> 